Come on, hurry up, Al. I'm coming. I love day old bread sales. Yeah. Three loaves for the price of one. <laughs> hey, Al, remember bread provides bulk. I remember. <laughs> My name is Greg. I do a vlog show. Welcome. Pizza man! <laughs> I'll get it! No, I'll get it! I'll get it! Oh, I'll get it! I'll... We'll both get it! Okay. Hi, Hi, Sal! Hi, boys! Where do you want these pizzas? In our stomachs! <laughs> If you know the words, Mika Licka Hi, Mika Heine Ho, you're in the right spot. Now today we're here at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery to talk about an underrated performer, comedian, actor, writer, and director. Now of course I'm talking about John Paragon. It should be in the title. It should be no surprise, right? Now, upon doing some research on Paragon, I actually watched some of his shows that I have never seen before. They're pretty good. <laughs> He's pretty funny, uh, and I'm, I'm really surprised. I think he was very underrated, uh, an amazing performer, amazing character performer. I mean, the guy can pull out a character, and he had a voice too. He had a, he, he could sing. He he had he had some vocals. You know, the best part about my portion of the show is women. <laughs> You're a beautiful woman. What is your name? Barbara. Barbara. Mm, Barbara, you smell like warm grass. Have you been mowing the lawn? Now here is a list of movies that John Paragon either directed, wrote, acted in, and or all of the above. Now among all of those roles, uh, Paragon was often overlooked. I mean, not too many people really know who he is, but for one character. Most people roughly around my age will remember him as Jambi, the genie. His debut was on the Pee Wee Herman show on HBO, and then he went on to Pee Wee Herman's Playhouse, which was a Saturday morning TV show. Now his character in the show was a blue-faced, just a head in a box, genie that would uh, grant Pee Wee Herman one wish a If day. I had one wish, I would wish that the Pee Wee Herman show from HBO would come back on. I'm gonna need all of your help if we're gonna get Pee Wee off the ground. Now all of you repeat after me. Mecca lecca hi, mecca hiney ho. Mecca lecca hi, mecca hiney ho. It's working, it's working. Everyone repeat. Mecca lecca hi, mecca hiney ho. Mecca lecca hi, mecca hiney ho. And right here is a final resting area of John Dixon Paragon. Born 12 9 1954. Past 4 3 2001. Now, this is just a perfect urn. I mean, this is the character, his beloved character, that most people around my age, roughly around my age, should remember. Just a couple of quick impressions, Pee Wee. Linda Blair. Peggy Fleming. Rula Lenska. Friends are here from Europe. John B. Say, uh... Now, Pee Wee Herman's Playhouse was a kind of geared towards kids show. It was a Saturday morning show, um, and yeah, it was for kids. However, when they first started, it was called The Pee Wee Show. It was on HBO, and it was not for kids. Even though some of his kids did watch it. Now sometime in the mid-70s, John Paragon 
was in a improv group called The Grand. And this is where John Paragon met Paul Rubens, Pee Wee Herman, and Phil Hartman. Now, Paul Rubens had a character, Pee Wee Herman, and Phil Hartman helped develop that character. From there, it got picked up onto HBO and became its own one-time show. And the three main writers of that show, Paul Rubens, Phil Hartman, and John Paragon. Now, he died of heart disease, and ultimately what did him in was the fact that he was a heavy drinker. Now, he was only 66 when he passed away. Before he was laid to rest with this lovely urn here, he, he was actually in the possession of someone else for a period of time. Good friend and fellow actor Cassandra Patterson, she played Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, had his remains until they placed him here. Now it has been rumored, and it hasn't happened yet, but Pee Wee Herman, Paul Rubens, is supposedly going to be sharing a space nearby. Now there's a lot of empty spaces here, so uh, your guess is as good as mine. And I'm not even sure when it's going to happen. I hope it does. Señores y señoras, el hombre mi guapo y macho, Ramón Azteca! De mi vida, no puedo ocho bibliotecas. Porque no quiero Isabel, porque el libro es aquí. Gracias. 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 Gracias and welcome to the Ramon Azteca portion of the show. I am Ramon Azteca. And this is my portion of the show. And then the John Bees is kind of a takeoff of Hawaiian? Yeah, it was from a uh, sketch that we were doing in the Groundlings and I was playing a waiter in a Hawaiian restaurant. I mean, they're like a kind of luau bob kind of thing. Right. And so I was just like trying to speak like you know, bad Hawaiian, hey, <laughs> like tourist guide Hawaiian. Right. Like, like a hot neck honey hunter. Right. Where's it going? I see. You know? I see. Can I get you a couple of tropical drinks? You know, something like coconut? <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, I know you are, but what am I? And also, if you like this video, go check this video out right over here. If you like this one, you're going to like that one too. I'll see you over there. Bye-bye.